Don't forget you guys, this content is PG-13. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up you guys? This is Zach Jack Dan coming at you with another toy haul, unboxing, amazing, massive video. This has been going since, I believe, Friendsgiving was the last time I, uh, some of these came in. Um, I definitely got some stuff at Christmas that I showed you already. But some of the stuff had been kind of over at one of my friend's house that I hadn't been able to grab for months. Other stuff has come in the mail through Entertainment Earth, through Big Bad Toy Store, through Target, uh, Walmart, Amazon, uh, Super 7 themselves. I don't think I got anything NECA right now. It's directly from NECA, I should say. Um, yep, I do. Loot Crate. So there's stuff from everywhere. And also, there is some 3D prints in here that you'll see, I've seen in the thumbnail that I got from my buddy over at Print 3D. Um, so I have the link in the description to that as well if you want to ever get a hold of him for any kind of 3D printing, maybe. But anyway, uh, I wanted to get in here and kind of show off what I got in this haul. As you can see, it's already unboxed. So yes, this is an unboxing, but it is already unboxed because I just could not keep all those boxes in here. It was stacked up to the ceiling. So let's start off with one of the big ones that I got, which is right here. And this is a bootleg Dragon Man. So I sold my Dragon Man that was official for like 400 and some dollars loose. And I get this thing for 40 bucks. It looks great. So I'm very excited to have a Dragon Man back in the collection. I missed him very bad. And this one looks amazing, especially for the price. So I'm very happy to have Dragon Man back in my collection. All right, what do I got next? Everything I'm gonna do on the top right here, we'll just do the loose stuff. So let's go with Motu. And I got me some Motu Classics. Uh, why'd I get that? Well, there's certain figures in my Masterverse I do not like, or they haven't done that version yet. So like, for example, I got the Hordak in the blue version uh, from Princess of Power stuff, like She-Ra and uh, Catra, but I didn't have the black version. And you know, this is a very toy-esque right here with the black version, so I wanted this version of Hordak. So I got the Motu Classics Mattel Hordak in the black version here. Another figure I did not like at all um, from Masterverse was the Trap Jaw. And I, you know, it's got the the extra costume with it, but the face sculpt is just horrible. I don't mind anything else, but the face sculpt is just awful. So I got me a Motu Classics Trap Jaw. This thing looks amazing. I love this figure. So very happy with this one compared to that nasty looking masterverse figure so that's another motu classic i grabbed another one i got was adora so they have not made an adora yet i wanted to get her uh they're making an atom right now so hopefully that'll go well with this one but i got adora now and she-ra so that'll be cool got the sword and the sheath on the back there got the gun on the holster right there but my two classics adore. I found that on eBay. Uh, I found Hordak and Trapjaw also on eBay. Uh, in my Hordak auction, I also got the Clawful. The Clawful looks amazing as well for my two classics. So I do know that there's a supposedly a listing coming up for a Clawful from Masterverse. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, but this looks amazing. I love the my two classics version of that. Uh, also, one I did not like that they did with the Masterverse was the Wave 1 Mossman. So I went ahead and got me a Motu Classics Mossman. Very cool looking. Got the extra head too. So very excited about Mossman in my collection. And one more Motu Classics. And that is the Skeletal Robots there. I got the three pack of the Skeletal Root Box. I love that. It looks really cool. And I'm going to look right on the shelf. I don't know that they would ever have given us that, so adding those to the collection is going to be awesome. All right, so that's all for Motu Classics. But let's stick with Motu itself. And here was the boxes for the uh, Wardak and the Clawful. 
So let's stick with Motu though, and let's talk about customs. So on the thumbnail you saw the Skeletor Throne. I don't have that yet. He's still printing it right now. But he did print me this really awesome looking 3D printed table for Skeletor. So I love the way that looks, and that's going to look great on the shelf with everything else. But again, the throne will be coming soon too. The white uh, bone throne with the brown seat. That'll be coming soon. Uh, so let's stick with Motu, and we'll go Masterverse. And two of the newer ones I've just got from Amazon with Sorceress and Shadow Weaver. I always, always, always wanted a Shadow Weaver. And in Motu Classic, that was one of the more expensive figures. So, very happy to add Shadow Weaver to my hoard. And then there is your Sorceress as well. She looks pretty good. Back of the package. And the side art right there. So that's two Masterverse figures right there, females. Uh, around the same time, I got Roboto and Stratos from Entertainment Earth. So, they're okay. I'm not totally excited about these like I would be if I got the Motu Classics versions. But these would be good for now until I can uh, get anything else. They look good. Back of the packages. And the side art. So that's four Masterverse figures there. And then I got one more big one that I love, 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 love that I found. And that's from Target with Too Bad. And this Too Bad looks amazing. Side art, back art, very excited about that right there. So that's five Masterverse and six Motu Classics that I got there. All right, one of the figures that I was waiting on for months and months and months is Gargles. So this guy right here has been sitting at one of my buddy's houses for since Friendsgiving, right after Thanksgiving in between Christmas. So I got Hudson here from the Gargoyles. Very excited to put him on the Gargoyles shelf up top above the window. That brown will stick out really well up there. It's a cool figure right there. Cannot wait to get more of those Gargoyles. Let's go with some more customization here. G.I. Joe Classified. So this is not a little three and three quarter inch Triple T. This is a six inch scale Sergeant Slaughter Triple T. And the treads do roll. So really cool. Got the missiles on the side, the guns, the engine. So I'm really excited about this particular 3D print right here. Looks amazing. Very exciting. All right, let's go with Marvel. There's not a lot of Marvel here, so we'll just go with the one Marvel that I have. And got it from Big Bad Toy Store. So I got the Vintage Collection Spider-Man Scorpion figure. I love these colors right here so much better. You got the face, we can see it under the mask. So I'm very really excited about this right here compared to the other Scorpion that we had in the Marvel Legends. Still a little small for me. I wish he would have been bigger than this. All right, let's go Turtles. So right now from Entertainment Earth, I got all of the NECA Universal Monster Turtles coming at me. But right now I've only gotten the Leonardo and the Splinter April and Mikey. So April as uh, the Bride of Frankenstein and Mikey as the mummy are on their way right now. And then of course I got Raphael as Frankenstein pre-ordered as well. Um, Donnie as the Invisible Man has not come out yet all the way. And who's the other one? Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera has not yet either. Is that all of them? Yeah. So yeah. Side art there showing the shadows and everything. So that's going to be for my son, Zach Legend. He was wanting that one. And sticking with what he was wanting, 
Uh, he's been reading the Eastman and Lard Mirage Comics uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so he was very excited about these. I hope them all at once. There we go. So we already have the Fugitoid and the Crane. Uh, can't think of what the thing's name is, the Android. Uh, is coming right now as well from Entertainment Earth. But I got the Casey and Renette or Renee from Entertainment Earth. And then I went to eBay to purchase this again for the mutated shredder. Uh, and got it for a better price than what I sold it for, so that's awesome. So I got those three right there. And of course that is a loot crate. And again, that's for my son, Zach Legend. He wanted to get in that line because of his reading. Uh, let's stick with turtles. And we'll go with oh, the loot crate. Let's open this loop crate up and we get the arcade version of Armagon. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet because he does look really cool, but we don't own any of the arcade versions of the Turtles. So this may go up to eBay. Really cool. It comes with a pair of socks, it comes with a leather head pin. With a set of glasses, token razor, a t shirt, and a little crane squishy ball. So, pretty cool loop, great. Right? So, I did get all the loot crates, and you guys knew about this already because I had already gotten my. Um, Oh, what's his name? Scrag, the uh, unlockable. So that was a big one. Let's go Star Wars. And I want to show you that I found Cara Dune, which is one of the rare ones since uh, Disney pulled the figure. So I got that figure. It's number 101 in the Black Series. So I got that on eBay. Really excited about that one. I loved her character in The Mandalorian. So. Uh. Let's stick with Star Wars, but I'm going to bring you down here to see it, okay? Because I can't. I don't think I can move it. So here we get a custom throne for Boba Fett. And you got Fennec Shan back there behind him. So I already had the Boba and the Fennec. But this is a custom throne made by my buddy Jay Severt, Print Big 3D. Looks awesome. And then I also had one printed for Jabba himself and the slave Leia and... That was my SDCC Java right there. So that's the background there. This looks awesome right here as well. So a couple more 3D prints there. And while I'm down here talking 3D prints, my buddy Flame Master G 3D printed me a Marvel Legends size Fantastic car. So really excited about that. That's my Walgreens Fantastic Four in the car. Those controls, those are awesome. So I gotta paint this thing up. And they do separate also. Got fans on the bottom. And I love the way my Fantastic Car looks. I like the uh the bathtub look for the Fantastic Car. So that's it for my 3D prints right there. Okay, so let's jump into Super 7. And we have Glow in the Darks of the Turtles. So this came straight from Super 7 because this was a Super 7 exclusive. You got Leo, Raph, and Michelangelo and Donatello. So let's get into those boxes and see the glow. Versions of Leo. With a little write up. Alright. Here's 
giraffe. It's right up. Mikey. Is right up. And then last but not least, we got Donatello. So why did I get these? Well, I figured since they were Entertainment Earth exclusives, they may be really, really rare. One day. I do also have the Foot Soldier, which was a Entertainment Earth, sorry, which was a Super 7 exclusive. Uh, but I also grabbed the Mutagen Man, which was not a exclusive. I think it was Entertainment Earth exclusive, maybe. Not sure where I stand with these Glonda Darts. There's a Slash one right now. Um, I think we're passing on it because it's like $85 to buy it with shipping and everything from them by itself. So probably going to pass on that. Sticking with Super 7. Mandora and her electro charger and talking about vehicles um, I'm excited that I got my email saying my thermal tank is shipping so that's exciting but here is Mandora and her right up Beastly ride. This thing is massive. Oh, right there. Tiny little figure. Big old vehicle. We got the electro charger. So that's pretty awesome. And lastly, let's go through my DC that I picked up. This was a couple of them were that were at my my uh, my buddy's house since Friendsgiving. That's more than a couple because there's three. But you got your Dark Flash, your Shazam, and your Kyle Rayner, all gold labels. Thank you, JV's Toy Chime, for picking these up along with the Gargoyles Hudson. So those are awesome. I would love to add those to my shelf here soon. From Target, I got my Dead Man. Gold label again. And from Walmart, I found this one in the wild. Another gold label, Eradicator. This is the Shockwave version. And then the last thing I got from Entertainment Earth, Mongol, big on mega scale, Mongol figure to go against Superman. So pretty cool right there. And guys, that's it. That is a lot of figures uh, that I've gathered up here over all this time to be able to show you guys. And I cannot wait to show you what it looks like on the shelf. So bear with me here. And I'll unbox some of them and show you what they look like on the shelves. I don't do all of them because, well, like I said, my son, Zach Legend, uh, loves to open the Turtle Boxes and the Super 7 and the Spider-Man. So I'll be putting the Masterverse, the Motu Classics, and the DC multi, DT Multiverse, uh, McCrawling stuff, and my custom stuff up on the shelf. But other than that, everything else will be will stay where it is. So you'll get to see all that. So bear with me here. So we're going to go through this really fast. First off, we're going to start off with the Masterverse and Too Bad. Try to get him out of that package as fast as we can. Pop off each one of these little plastic pieces. And there he is. Try to put the weapons in here. And that hand, that gray hand is extremely tight. Had to go heat it up to get the weapon in there. Let's go to Stratus next. He's got that extra mask over top of his face too. 
So I'm going to use that, I think, on the shelf. We'll, sh we'll see how that looks in the racks to get it hung up. But yeah, there's that mask. Pretty cool. All right, and we got Roboto. And I do not like this Roboto. The hands uh, are very difficult to get off to get the extra weapon on. So that, that was a struggle for me there. And I don't really like the weapons that it came with. There's, there's just two weapons. There's no like blast effect piece or anything like that. So we'll just go with one sword and one blaster there. All right, now Sorceress. I like the way her cape is. It goes across her, her wings, whatever you want to call them. It goes across her arms very, very nicely. And she got her staff as well. Soft goods wings. It took a while. I had to take the hands off to, to slide those across the uh, the arms there to get those on there. There you go, sorceress. And then we got Shadow Weaver. So this is the last of the Master Versions I'm unboxing here. And like I said, I'm extremely excited about Shadow Weaver. That's a figure I've always wanted to have in my collection. So Shadow Weaver, Roboto, Stratos. Too bad. Again, I'm sitting there struggling with that those weapons right now. And I'm finally going to say forget it. So there he is, and then Sorceress. All right, let's go to DC Multiverse here. Kyle, pop into the gold label Kyle. He's got like this ninja suit on and a ninja sword. Now this is replacing my Kyle on my shelf from the uh, Black Lantern or the uh, Atrocitus Biddle Figure Wave. I like this version better with that white white shirt on. This dark flash here. This is going to be part of my Blackest Night for now. Because of course he looks like he's dead, so perfect. Got a couple of effect pieces that'll go across his legs there. So I have him in that running pose with the stand under him. And we got Shazam. Another gold label. All oh, these are gold labels except for the Mongol, the uh, Mega Scale. So he's going to look good with my Page Punchers uh, Black Adam that I have. Just to get on my shelf whenever I throw it on there. So this, that cape was just very difficult to get out of the package. He's got effect pieces as well. We got the Eradicator here. Walmart exclusive. I love the way this cape looks. A lot of my friends have been kind of concerned that this doesn't have the regular white face. It's got the all black face. Um, I like it. I like the way it looks. Got to put him on a flight stand too. And I'm wondering why McFarlane's not sending flight stands a lot anymore. Got Dead Man here. And as I started playing with it a little bit later on, I noticed that this effect piece that he has, I did not put it on his back correctly. <laughs> but I did whenever I put it on the shelf. And then we got the Mega Scale Mongol. And I was afraid this was going to be too big. But no, he looks really good on the shelf. So get him out of that package. See if I can stand these guys up. On the carpet, it's kind of hard, but they'll fall over on me here in a second. Alright, so here it is added to the shelf. I'm going to show you my DC shelf first. And all this DC came within the last year. It's amazing. I love this. But I'm going to show you the whole shelf here first. Kind of from the side, and then go in, and there's the Kyle Rayner. There is the Dark Flash up there with the rest of the Blackest Night. We got Dead Man, and I got his effect piece there better. There's Mongol, massive mega scale figure, and Eradicator there. Mongol looks so good up there. Eradicator. And then I got Shazam down there beside Black Adam. <clears throat> Jumping into turtles, I'm going to show you the neck of stuff here first. But yeah, I can show you that I got those down here for the Mirage. Again, my son Zach Legend will be opening those. Still not sure what I'm going to do with the Armagon, and then Zach Legend is going to open the Scorpion there from Marvel Legends 2. We got the Glow in the Dark turtles here. I'm going to keep those in package, but I will keep them out so they can get in a place where they can glow. There's the other glows I have. And then I also got the Universal Monsters of Zack Legends, and it's going to be opening too. Into the Star Wars stuff here. I love this setup for Jabba now with the throne base there. 
And like I said, that is my SDCC Java. So I'm loving the way this looks finally with this 3D printed base. Got the grate there that Boba Fett's standing on along with the SDCC Rancor. Here on the second shelf, I do have the Cara Dune. I'm not going to open her. She's going to stay up here in the box along with my other Mandalorian. And then I got a throne there, 3D printer for Palpatine, and also another one here for Boba Fett. So I'm loving these thrones that I'm getting 3D printed here. Fennec Shand right there behind him. Then we're going to jump down here to G.I. Joe Classified, show off kind of the original stuff that I had. And the only thing I added to the Classified was my Triple T for Sergeant Slaughter. So I had to move some stuff around to get that to fit. So I moved Serpentor, Mindbender, and the Bat down there along with some other figures. And then hopefully that His Tank, once I get it, will fit somewhere down in here too on this shelf where else I don't have to expand somewhere else. But yeah, this Triple T looks amazing. Six inch scale, just uh, perfect for slaughter. And to go against Serpentor is amazing. Serpentor was one of my favorites this year, 2022, last year. Here's my... Dragon Man with my Fantastic Four shelf. Of course, that is a knockoff. But you got right here, you got the other Fantastic Car that I had my Walgreens stuff in there. Like I said, I'm customizing a soapbox, or whatever you want to call it, a bathtub type Fantastic Car right now too, which will be a lot smaller than this, and hopefully it'll fit good. Gargoyles, again, that's one of my son's act legends, so I'm just going to throw Hudson up there for now in the box, and he'll come home and after college and, and uh, open that up, and we'll throw that up there. Hopefully we'll get some more gargoyles in between now and then anyway. And then with my Thundercats, again, another one that Zach Legend loves. I'm going to show you off the Thundercats shelf here. And again, my Thunder Tank is coming. It's going to go down here on this bottom shelf. But for now, Mandora and her Electro Charger is down there still in package because I'm going to let him open it with me. And then we'll go up to Masters of the Universe. And you see the custom table there. 3D printed. Can't wait for the throne to come. I got the robots there. Clawful. I got Shadow Weaver. Adora. All those added to that shelf. And going up one shelf here. We got Sorceress back in the background. Stratos up in the air here. Got the mask on. I got the Roboto over there. Got the sword in one hand, the blaster in the other, and then Moss Man right here, another robot. And back there in the back, we got the Too Bad. That Too Bad looks amazing. And then up top, we got the extra Hordak in the black version and the extra Trap Jaw that I have here, just because I had to have that versus the, the Master Verse one that we had. That face sculpt so much better. So yeah, a day later, outfit different. I've added everything to the collection. Hope I don't get you too dizzy here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it wasn't really an unboxing necessarily, but it was a massive toy haul of stuff that I loved adding to the collection. So I added 22 figures to the collection you guys saw. Plus, like I said, my son Zach Legend will be back home and we'll unbox some of the other things like the Thundercats, the Turtles, and the Gargoyles. Also Marvel Legends, the uh, Scorpion. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you ever need that thumbs up. That's awesome. And I'll talk to you guys later.